So I know it's not something we all want to do, but eventually you end up having to do it. I'm talking about winterizing your RV. Now here's a hack that I came up with that might be helpful to you. Hey kids, this is Mark with BusyDadRVLife.com where we encourage you to get out there and make your memories today with your family. So I'm out here at the coach, I'm doing some maintenance and I've had to winterize and I thought maybe this hack I've come up with to help winterize our motorhome could be useful to you. So the way we winterize is we use the air method. We use compressed air to blow the water out of the lines and then we use a little bit of antifreeze uh, just pour it down into the drains uh, to make sure that that's taken care of. Now the way I used to do this was I used to take the travel trailer that we had or the RV, whatever, back to the house and used my compressor at home and it was kind of a hassle. Well, you know what, I've got a motor home now and there's something I can do a little bit different. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm at the wet bay of our motor home and this is where you would connect your compressed air source so you can blow all the water out of your lines. Now how do I do it? Well, first, I bought this little piece. You see that? You see that? Got this little guy off of Amazon, and what's really useful about this is I can connect an air coupler to it and to my city water connection. Now, the way I used to do this was with one of those cheap plastic blowout plugs you could get at Walmart or uh, Camping World, and that made this a two-person operation. So with this little doodad, you can use a coupler and you can make it a one-person operation. That makes the busy wife of Busy Dad much happier because I can just do this myself. So this goes on your city water connection. Now you need a compressed air source. So the way I used to do this was a little air pig, one of those tanks you can get, fill it up with air and bring it over. And that will work if you can work fast, you have a limited amount of air supply, and if you don't have an ice maker. This motorhome has an ice maker in the freezer, which is really convenient when you're living in it, but when you've got to winterize, it takes a long time to get all the water out of that line. So here's what I do. This is an El Cheapo Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic Air Compressor. I'm sure you can get something like this on Amazon too, uh, but I have one of those Harbor Freight 20% off something coupons. So pretty cheap, you can get this. And what I do is I plug this into the electrical of the motorhome run the generator first. And this makes enough air to blow out the lines. Now you only need to set this to about 20 PSI on the regulator. Don't go much higher or you could do bad things to your air lines. But what you do is you get this thing running. You're gonna need an air line. You need a coupler like this, another coupler like this. One end goes on that fitting we got, you know, like, like this. It's easy. Okay, the other end goes on the air compressor. There, there I got it, right? All right, and off you go. Now I'm not running this or you couldn't hear me, but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll run this thing for about 15 minutes. It'll cycle on and off and uh, makes enough air, plenty of pressure, so I can blow out all the lines. Uh, the missus is happy because she didn't have to come out here and I can take care of this without moving the motor home. All right, folks, that was one quick tip about winterizing your RV when you've got it in the storage and you need an air source. Uh, I hope that was useful to you. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Otherwise, remember, get out there and make your memories today with your family. There's a lot of noise out here.